Hello. Today's topic is breastfeeding and breast hygiene. It is a myth that breastfeeding destroys your boobs. It's actually pregnancy that changes the shape of your boobs. <laughs> but it is your responsibility to take care of your girls when you're breastfeeding. And I have a few recommendations for that. First of all, Holly Berry recently shared that her secret to perky boobs is by wearing a bra every night. Some people disagree on this, and the research has not proven one way or the other, but from my personal experience with the load that I carry, wearing a bra at night is a good way to maintain the youthfulness of your breasts. Another recommendation that I have is <laughs> rubbing aloe vera on your boobs every time you're done nursing because it improves the elasticity of your skin. And also rubbing vitamin E on your breasts is a good way to nourish them. And then another secret weapon is exercise, which is often not mentioned. Pec muscle exercises. I do a lot of exercises on my hands and knees that target those muscles. And sometimes they're not even specifically for the pec muscles. I might be doing legs or butt, but it's also working the pec muscles at the same time. So you are in control of the health of your breasts. <laughs> so, today is a better day for breastfeeding for my little man. Yesterday, he was a little fussy. You know, they can't all be gems. <laughs> I just wanted to do an update to keep it current. So, bear with me. Hopefully this one is, is better. Yeah? Happy little boy. So it's summertime and we are a lot more relaxed around here. Mommy's not working as much. So it's just a lot more chill. And I feel like there's some special bonding going on. So another topic could be underwire bras. Mm -hmm. They tell you not to wear underwire bras if you are breastfeeding because it can impede milk flow and such. I think it's a, a good recommendation, though wearing underwire bras have not impeded my milk flow. I'm able to wear them just fine. I like to support the girls. That's just the best advice that I could give for keeping your boobs in shape. So I hope you learned a little something and <laughs> um, so <laughs> there you go. I will discuss another topic and that is The biggest feeding of the day is lunchtime, and you're seeing it right now. Of course, when he was a newborn, he fed all of the time, and when they get older, they don't feed as much. So if you're not vigilant, your supply can go down. So you just have to pretend like you're a wet nurse, and if he misses a feeding, just pump to keep it going. 
so I have feedings every couple hours. If he eats too much food, then he won't nurse as much, but I keep the milk supply up. And I've said this in another video, a gallon of water a day does wonders. Because I was having a little bit of an issue with the milk supply when I wasn't vigilant with the water. But I've implemented that back into my regimen. <laughs> so, I think that I will say goodbye now because baby is almost done nursing and I want to have 